Hey everyone, we have the coolest product that we wanna to talk to you about that we're gonna to review. Today we are talking to you about Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debony, this is Sean, and today we are talking about these really awesome razors that we got recently. Um, and just giving you, giving you a review, how we feel about them, what we think, you know, the huge. But before we get into that review, please hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so how long ago was it when we got these ones? I think it's been like two years. Two-ish years ago, we decided to stop using the whole disposable razor thing and go into the straight razor? Safety. Safety razor. Ball game. That's what we started. So Sean did all the research because Sean's a researcher at the house. And we found, I don't even know these brands. Mine came from Amazon and I think yours. No, both of ours came from the same place. Did you buy yours from the company though or did it come from Amazon? I don't know. We got razors. Sean got this one, I got this one. And we were using them for a while and they were fine, they were cool, whatever. And I mean, I don't have a face to shave, obviously. Um, so I would shave like my legs. I thought it was fine. Um, I mean, changing the blade was a tad treacherous, but it was an experience. Um, but, it, but it was obviously better and cheaper, like you got a better shave and it was cheaper than using mm -hmm. the disposables, which I hated disposables. I think they're a waste of money and just stupid. But anyways, I was on Instagram and I saw a post from someone I follow, who I know personally, that her husband had gotten in the razor game. They did the post about Henson razors. And so for one, I wanted to try them out because let's support A, support local. But two, we're in the straight razor game and like, who knows if they say that they're great, let's try it. So I went out and I got it. I got two of them, one for me, one for Sean. And I'm not picky. Like I just need to shave my legs as long as there's no hair on my legs, I'm good to go. And is it fast? That was my qualifications, but I know Sean over here has like a whole Foch, a whole face to shave, and so he has he has more opinions. So that said, we went with the Henson razors. The black one is Sean's, the pink one, I guess it's pink, is mine. You can buy them on hensonshaving.com. They have, I'm trying to see how many they have. They have uh, I guess three models. They have the Henson AL13, the Henson AL13 Medium, so I don't know if that's the same or not, and then the Titanium. We did not spring for the Titanium, we got the AL13s. Sean's is in jet black, and I truthfully wanted mine in purple, but they didn't have it, so I got mine in coral, which is essentially pink. We just needed to differentiate because they're the exact same razors. Cause you know what else is the same razors? Men's and women's razors that they sell at the store. They are 1000% the same, except for one is pink and it costs a buttload more money. That's a whole other tangent. Anyways, so the spiel on the website says, the Henson is designed to present the blade at the optimum shaving angle with as little blade exposure as possible. We sought out to engineer a manufacturing process to meet the tolerances required with a comprehensive design. The result is alarmingly safe shave that eliminates irritation. And they look different than our former our former friends. Um, I truthfully cannot speak to anything other than I like it. When did we buy these? We bought them this year. We bought them in February. I was like, we were in quarantine, but we're always in quarantine. So it's hard to tell. When we compare, the old, you can hold those. The old ones to the new ones. These are super light mm -hmm. in comparison. Um, thin. I'm pretty sure those are aluminum. Hmm. Just because of how light they are. These are steel. You can definitely tell. Sean is right. It is an aerospace grade aluminum um, and it's manufactured in Ontario. Um, I cool. figured because they live here, they don't live far from here. So I figured. Um, and ooh, cool, it said that it's made with the same standards required to create satellite components. I'm touching the side that touches your skin when you shave, and it's awesome. When they say they leave it with little blade exposure as possible, mm -hmm. no joke. 
but it does not compromise the shave. When I shave my legs, easy peasy. I actually have never nicked myself on this. Never bled. This thing, I was bleeding like it was my day job. Um, but I thought it was great. It was super easy and I wasn't scared for my fingers that I was going to shed blood at any time. Also, with those one, with uh, with these Henson blade or uh, Henson. razors, <laughs> yes, um, they're a lot easier to find the right angle. With these, you kind of have to play as you're like <gasps> shaving down so or, or up, depending on how you shave. If you shave against the grain or with the grain, uh, pretty much with those, you just kind of rest against your face at that angle that designed how how it's cut. You just kind of put that against your face and pull down, and yeah, it's. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of, uh, out of shaving. I mean, going from like those disposables to a safety razor, there's a bit of a learning curve regardless, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But these ones, like I had to have like a full blown lesson from Sean because when I was shaving, it was doing nothing. Um, like you have, he's like, you have to go at the right angle and at a 45 and like, I'm not here to pull out my protractor. Whereas with this, um, I mean, I've already had the learning curve for trying to figure this out, but this is, this is idiot proof. Pretty much. Like you just. You just don't go sideways. <laughs> it It's a great transition from going from the disposable to a safety razor. Cause it's, mm -hmm. it's easy. That's it. Like it's easy. It's awesome. Um, we, uh, we got um, extra blades with it. I've never attempted to uh, change a blade because I don't trust myself with that. It's definitely not hard to change. Also, the price of blades compared to like, I, I used to always use Gillette, uh, what are they called? Gillette. You went with all of them. Um, Pro Glide. I used to go with the Gillette Pro Glide. And uh, it used to cost me like 50 bucks for like eight of them, I think. It was either eight or 10. And uh, with this, you literally get like 200 blades for like $20. No, it's price. like 12. It's like 12 bucks yeah. for 200. Yeah, the, the the price difference and how long these blades last. Um, usually they last for me about a month and I have to change the blade and that would be like me shaving twice a week. What I also liked about this because um, a couple years ago with disposables, I got Sean a subscription. So it would send like every month you get like six or seven blades or whatever. Mm -hmm. Subscriptions suck because you forget about them, you forget your password, you don't know how to like cancel. So no subscriptions, no custom blades. That's one thing that we had to figure out with our old ones was like, which blade goes with which? And there's certain ones. And like, this is a whole lot of work. No custom blades, no subscriptions. Just, just buy your stuff and go. That's all it really is. And if also, so cleaning these old ones, I used to have to fully pull it apart and clean the blade off with the, with these ones, pretty much all I do is tip them upside down and there's like little grooves in the back and the water just kind of rushes in and pushes all the hair out, which is amazing because I've never had that on any other one. So, so I've never done this, so it's the first time for everything. You unscrew the bottom bit. Am I doing this right? It's pretty hard to cut your fingers, but. We unscrew, does it come all the way off? Yep. You're, yeah, keep, you're the worst keep, no, at giving no, no. directions. It's like, so, keep going, cut your hands off. Okay, so I unscrewed the bottom thingy. Yep. This comes apart. Yep, it's not gonna break. And then, oh my gosh, Jemini, yeah, don't hold the blade. That's the blade. Don't be dumb. I don't know. Okay. Yep, just like that, just don't squeeze too hard. So it comes apart. So you've got the, the top thingy, your blade. So I'm assuming this is how you change the blade. Yep. Oh my gosh, I do not feel yeah, safe Push it down, this. and then it has to fit in those grooves. I get... And then, nope, yep, nope, yep. I mean, that was pretty easy, mm -hmm. besides like my slight panic of losing a finger. You... No shame to Henson in that. That would be user error. You wanna have that upside, you know what it always does. You wanna make sure it's no, upside no. down so that the blade actually sits in the grooves there, and then all you do is twist until it is snug. You don't wanna go like super tight because you don't wanna break anything. Super easy, but the shave, especially in the armpits, cause like your armpits have grooves. I mean, your face does too, I guess. It did not feel like treacherous, like shaving does sometimes. It was mm -hmm. very easy, very smooth, but it was also like a really close shave. When I do my legs, 
there's nothing I hate more than the multi-pass, you know? Like where you have to shave once but, but you're always, and you're then you have gonna, to shave again. You're always gonna do a multi-pass. That is incorrect, like my knock friend. knock everything down and then. I don't wanna have to do the multi-pass. It's just tedious. With this, I barely have to do a multi-pass. For the most part, I've had just like a one-shot deal. And there's nothing I love more than saving time other than saving money, which you do. With disposables, you're buying like a buttload of razors. And why are they so expensive? I, I don't know. Why are they behind like the lock and key with the siren at the store? That I understand. But why are they so expensive? Like, I mean, if you know, let me know in the comments because for real, why are they so expensive? And on the Henson site, it does tell you um, the cost savings, it's in US dollars. But for two years of shaving, you'd be spending approximately $239 US. Whereas with the Henson and the box of razors that you can buy through them, it's $80 for two years. So yep. who doesn't love saving yep. Same while shaving? It's so weird that I'm doing a review on a razor because it's not something that I think about, but I think it's so great and I think everyone should get one. Um, and like I said, it, it's Canadian made, which we all know how important that is. It's Ontario made, but they actually did a really good job at like the, the design and the, I would say the usability was my big, my big sell. Uh, I love that too, but like, I'm not gonna cut myself. That's a huge win. Well, just don't go against it. Again, don't, don't go up. User error. That is a you problem if you do that. But, I'm sorry. Yep. But I'm raving about these. I think they're so awesome. And um, right now, it is for the regular AL3. It is $90.53. Canadian. Awesome customer service. And it works. That's really just what it comes mm -hmm. down to. Coming from the, the, the bigger shaving expert of our household. This guy. You, um, what, what are your thoughts? My thoughts on the razor? Um, I don't think bad to say about it. Uh, no cons, that's for sure. Um, great usability. Also, the, uh, there's like little, little, uh, Grooves? Yeah, I guess you call it grooves. With kind of like, uh, etching marks on them. So that the thing won't slip out of your hand if you're in the, sh in the shower because pretty much that's where I always use this, is in the shower. Shave my face. Uh, it's ergo ergodynamic or? Ergonomic. Ergonomic. Did I say that right? I probably didn't. Didn't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a well thought piece of steel. Aluminum. 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 Like I think I, the main thing I appreciate too was like when I paid $90, it was $90 for Sean, $90 for me. It wasn't like $90 for Sean and 123 for me, like how they tend to do for men's versus women because I wanted it in a, in a pink essentially. Um, mm -hmm. Because you're getting the same razor. It's the exact same thing. Regardless, you just switch up your color. Can't say anything awful about it. Only great things and I think you should all get it. So head over to hensonshaving.com and get yourself a Henson razor. Yeah, I don't, so I don't review things unless I either really love them or really hate them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like excluding those like first, first reactions, first impression things. Like if I'm gonna give you a review on anything, I either really love it and think you should absolutely like run, don't walk and get it or hate it and like stop yourself, save your money and your tears. This is not that. This is love it, love it, gotta get it. Go get yourself a Henson razor. Literally get it for anybody who has hair. Like facial hair, leg hair, armpit hair, arm hair, shape, do your head hair. Like who cares? You want hair and you want it gone, you get a Henson, done. I said what I said. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's that on that. That is our review on the Henson razor. You can go on their website, they have all the info. Um, Dan, the CEO, he has like a little user video that I've watched a couple times. And I believe they do have an Instagram page because it is 2021 and who does not have an Instagram 
page. They, so head over there, they have videos, they have tutorials, they have other people's reviews. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you love this review. Please hit that like and subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram. Also head over to the Henson Shaving Instagram page and you know, like follow back. They have a YouTube channel, which is cool too. So head over there. And do you have any last thoughts? Nope. You sure? Yeah, this is just a, a need to have shaver for your arsenal. Man of many words. Anyways, we hope you like this video and we will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.